are watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Welcome to the fall edition of Weha Mag. I can't believe that we're saying fall, uh, but it is fall and autumn, uh, and uh, it's great. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Tom Hickey from West Hartford Magazine and Weha.com, and on a monthly basis, uh, we bring together the business associations and the neighborhood associations in West Hartford to talk all about what is happening and what is going on. And I am uh, joined uh, every month uh, by uh, the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce uh, as a co-producer uh, with uh, Weha Mag on this program as well and I'll let them introduce themselves starting with Barbara. Well I'm Barbara Lerner. Um, I am from the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce and I am Tom's cohort in crime in many of these things. Uh, and I'm Tracy Flater from the Park Road Association. And I'm Ronnie Newton and I'm the editor of WeHa.com and somebody who writes a whole lot of business news about West Hartford. Uh, so today, in the spirit of how we like to do things on Weha Mag, we're going to mix things up a little bit. But before we actually uh, invite in uh, two guests, I just wanted to remind everyone that the last show that we did was very different and very unique because we had actually broadcast live uh, on location on Park Road uh, from Effie's. Yep. Uh, so that was... And, and I did not know this when we had sort of set the date, but it was it had just been remodeled, uh, you know, and redecorated. So uh, kudos to Johnny; it really looked wonderful, uh, and it was great to be there. So hopefully, everyone liked that show. I think so. We've heard some good feedback. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it was, and, and it was it was a lot of fun. So our intent will be to do that at least on a quarterly basis uh, over the course of of the year. Uh, but again, in the spirit of just mixing things up and not having things always be the same, uh, we're going to start today's program with two guests. Uh, I was joking earlier with Ronnie and saying this is like The View, you know, where, uh, where you have guests come on uh, on, on to stage. But, um, or, or like late night. Or like late night, that's true. Yeah, we could do, <laughs> we, we could do some wild Jimmy Fallon things. I would, it's like, you know, so mortify everyone watching. I, I could write right? thank you notes. <laughs> you could write thank you That's notes. my favorite We'd need part. a little music band in the background. <laughs> yeah, we'd be all music set. would be good. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so let's start with uh, when, we were, when we were at Effie's, uh, we were talking about the things that were coming up over the summer. And one of the events that, uh, that was coming up was the Taste of uh, Blueback and Taste of the Center, which was the last Wednesday in July. Um, one of those wonderful cool days and evenings that we had, uh, you know, over the summer. So it felt like 110 degrees, <laughs> but uh, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, there was a component, something new that we had done, and we always try to include or incorporate um, uh, some type of giving, you know, some uh, giving back. So uh, we had a nonprofit uh, who came and worked with us. Uh, we had a business who came to work with us on behalf of a nonprofit, um, and I'm, I would love to invite them uh, to join us uh, right now. It's Jade Marketing uh, from Blueback Square in West Hartford. Great. I think we should be like <laughs> applauding. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so usually, like you know, people are applauding. We want to for welcome that. Sarah <laughs> and Mallory, <laughs> who are representing Jade, Jade Marketing. Yes. Okay. And a lot of people have no idea that there is a really large jean and clothing manufacturer right in Blueback Square. Absolutely, in um, Hartford in general, but definitely right here in Blueback Square, we um, have 
Our Jade Marketing Group, we're right above the New York Sports Club right here in Blueback, and we are a denim manufacturing company. A little bit higher? We're live. It's on? It's Everybody can hear? Okay. Everybody can That's hear good. me? Good. Um, <laughs> so we design, manufacture, and produce blue jeans. Um, most of our clients currently are in the Midwest region, but we do have lines with Macy's and JCPenney's. So we I really have a pretty good reach like throughout the country as far as our, our genes go. Um, I was joking with them earlier though because my business partner, the, our creative director, Joy Taylor, is cousins, is related yes, to yes. Beth, um, who hands, handles all of their community relations. And I just never put the two in together. I don't know what I thought jean meant, but I, I don't know if I, maybe I just wasn't thinking like wearing well, jeans. But, well, you know. our name is a little <laughs> deceiving because we're Jade Marketing yeah, Group, yeah. but we are you know blue jeans, which is kind of... It, you do have to explain, so don't that's don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. We okay. we have to explain everywhere. So yeah, Mallory um, and I are part of the community outreach committee within Jade, and um, we got a chance to work with Taste of Blueback this year. Well, you do a wonderful thing. You have a truck that yep. goes to different locations and you sell jeans for $10 yes. and the $10 is a donation it is. to a different charity. Yes. Um, you were at Taste of Blueback Square. Um, I bought a pair of jeans. I know I bought Ronnie a pair of jeans. Oh, I think your husband actually my bought My husband bought them. <laughs> <laughs> but they are actually, they are now my favorite jeans. Oh, so good. I can't, I can't really wear them to things like this because I got the very, very distressed ones. Oh. but. My husband said they're a little distracting, but he, he, he admitted he does like them, but they're, they're great jeans. I mean, it's really a wonderful thing that you do. I know you have also been at the Pink Party in mm -hmm. past years. Will you be we at the Pink Party this again year. this year? Yep, we will be at the Pink Party um, next, next week, actually, yeah, yeah. and then um, the Hartford Marathon the Saturday after that. So we... There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, we get to have a lot of fun and get to go to a lot of different events within the community. So. so so the charity you had for the Taste of Blueback Square was? It was the No Webster House and... The West Hartford West Historical, Hartford Historical, Historical Society. Society. Big mouthful there. <laughs> um, so when we donate, um, when you donated $10, you 100% um, of that donation went to the Noah Webster House and you got a Free pair of jeans is a thank you. Um, Jade doesn't take any of the profit um, from the ten dollars, and we are able to, you know, put all of that money towards a great charity like the No Webster House. And there was a crazy deal, right? Like, was yes. it five? Yes. If you bought five pair, if you donated fifty dollars, you got six pairs of jeans. Uh, this uh, event the was West Hartford Historical Society. West Hartford Historical <laughs> Historical Society. Yeah. Did you wanna? Sure. <laughs> 15 minutes over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was 960. Wow. Oh, awesome. It's a lot of jeans. It's a lot it of is jeans. a lot yeah. of jeans. Yeah. Six pairs of jeans. Um, and we, uh, well, actually, probably more than that because we did sell, you know, the, the five, 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 five right. and the right. sixth. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. It's a great outlet for us to not only um, give back to our community which our founder is, is very big into giving back and, and getting a chance to meet new people and network, and it's just a lot of fun. So, Well, we're really thrilled that you were at the event and that you had your truck there and that you are a member of the community. Um, I, I've known Jade Marketing for a long time, and um, we were thrilled when they moved into the building at Blueback Square and have expanded oh, yeah. in the um, eight years that you've been there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And Ronnie would say we have it all in West Hartford. So if you didn't know, we also have jeans. Right. <laughs> we, do, we do have it all in West Hartford. Right. And we're a huge pink truck. You really can't That's miss excellent. us when we're out and about. So with, with jeans on it. It's a absolutely. big pink truck with jeans on it. It's like a food truck, but 
jeans. Yeah. So. Well, and at some point during the program, they'll see a photo. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and so, so look for the truck when you're at an event in town. You never know. <laughs> you never know. When you'll, when you'll see them. If, so. if people want to buy your jeans, though, outside of having the opportunity to buy the, the ones that are a thank you gift for a donation, are they at Macy's? Like, how, how do we know that they're jade jeans? Well, um, our, so we have our brands, which are Amethyst, Series 31, Aria, Rhythm and Blues, and then our men's line is Axel, Axel and, and Axe and Crown. That's right, there are two men's lines. Um, we are currently working on getting our um, website up and running, but right now you can find us on Kohl's.com, Macy's. Um, we do have Aria and our Juicy Pennies here, but um, like I said, most of our lines are currently in the Midwest, but we are working on getting things to the coast too, so it's, it's very well, exciting. Well, if you, if you send us those six logos, yes. uh, we'll put them on the screen Perfect. for you. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, as well, Definitely. so people will yeah, then know. Absolutely. And, and we'll recognize it. Yeah. That'd be great. Well, thank you guys so much for coming thank in. You very thank you for having us. And thank, thank you, so you to much. Jade for $960 to know what Webster House is oh, amazing. It was our pleasure. It was, it was a, even though it was really super fun. hot, it was a great <laughs> day. It, it was a little steamy. It was a little steamy. Thanks so much. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, right. Thank, Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks again. Yeah. I have to tell tell you while uh, while we're talking about how, how hot it was. My favorite story, and I can say this because Elizabeth from uh, from Blueback couldn't make it today. Um, I love you, Elizabeth. I'm only kidding. But uh, we had the event all scheduled in New England so that it was weather permitting. You know, if it rained, if it was too hot or whatever. So we were in two temporary uh, uh, buildings in Blueback that were not occupied, you know, over the last week. Empty of, storefronts. Uh, empty, empty storefronts. Um, so we would be all set, and we were ready to go. The event was on a Wednesday evening, so I had gone to a, um, a meeting just to make sure, you know, the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed on Monday morning, and it was at 12 noon on Monday uh, that we had decided that we should go outside. Uh, <laughs> so, so within that short window of, 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 of that short window of time, um, we were able. You know, I shouldn't say we. Actually, I'll give a shout out to John from Taylor Rental Party Plus uh, because John Wilper, the owner, uh, had to go see the fire department, and the police department, and permitting and zoning, and do all of that within you know 24 hours or so. And, and he did, and it was a wonderful. Um, that so yeah, well it's a good thing it was outdoors it would have been unbearable inside i'm telling you the whole <laughs> thing was, was crazy and the one message that i i would just love to send to everyone we sold out uh by our estimate we actually turned away about 150 people which you hate to do because you know it's more money for the event but you also wouldn't want to run out of food you know either so we were trying right. to explain to, t to people that you know we we could allow uh you know the 350 uh, you know actually it was supposed to be 300 we bumped it to 350 um uh, and uh, you have to make sure that you have food for the people who purchase the tickets in advance so as we plan other taste of events and we're going to talk about that in the future um, uh, one of our Weha Mag shows because we will have them uh, on a quarterly basis in 2017 throughout all of town. Buy your tickets early. You know, make sure that you um, that you reserve your spot so that you're not disappointed because we had so many people that were. So we had a wonderful time at that event, and then shortly thereafter we had um, Best of West Hartford. Event we did at Town Hall, which is which is hard to, hard to believe that it was the second annual uh, uh, Best of West Hartford. You know, when we first uh, Actually, we'd been thinking about this idea uh, for about five, yar f about five years, and, um, and really until uh, Ronnie had such impressive numbers with WeHa.com that we felt as though you know, enough people were going to be able to participate and be involved in the process. Uh, you know, did we dare uh, you know, uh, even attempt to do it? So, uh, so year number one was, was very successful, about 180 people or so that were in attendance. Year number two, about 250 people who were in attendance. Um, the biggest challenge, and there's a great committee uh, who works on all of this, is getting the finalists to show up that evening so that they can be celebrated uh, you know, during, uh, during that event. And we had a 33% increase this year over year number one. So uh, year number two, we're going in the right, uh, you yes. know, in the right direction. Uh, and most importantly, we actually made a little bit of money uh, you know, <laughs> for, for year number two. So uh, it ensures that we can do a year number, uh, year number three. Well, I, I think a really important part of that is the recognition for the nominees. I mean, not just the mm -hmm. winners. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a wide variety of businesses we have in town. They all do a really nice job. 
And, and it's a fun night. Yeah. I mean, Brad Drazen does a great job. He does. <laughs> it's a lot of, he's very funny. <laughs> um, I love the whole setup on the stage. Absolutely. It just, it, it, you know, if you haven't gone, I, I would highly suggest yeah. that, that people go to this event and see the variety of things that we have in town and, and the, great, um, the great people who actually work very hard um, in their businesses in town, yeah, and yeah. some you've never heard of. It's, uh, so. it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's and, and as time amazing. goes on, we'll get those little kinks out of it and, and <laughs> figure out a way That's so for that sure. more of the, the um, business owners who yeah. are going to win are actually there. Because yeah. And right. a, new, a new aspect this year was right. having the, um, the business associations that wanted to and were able to have mm -hmm. a table. Mm -hmm. And this year we had um, the Home Design District had a table as you came in, and they had a raffle, so you bought raffle tickets, and they were really wonderful prizes. It was um, two thousand. I threw all my raffle tickets in, you know, prizes. in one. Yeah, it really was. It was yeah. great, and they sold a lot of raffle yeah. tickets. Mm -hmm. And that money that they yeah. uh, collected from the raffles, because everything was donated, mm -hmm. that was raffled off, mm -hmm. um, is going to the town that cares. Mm -hmm. And Kathy was supposed to be here today, but unfortunately, business got in the way. She actually has a business to run in <laughs> Bartlett Brainerd. Um, home improvements. So uh, they have a check they will be giving to um, the town that cares, and it was for five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, so. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's so great. It, it really it adds up. It yeah. absolutely does. Yeah. Uh, the one thing, too, I, uh, I want to make sure that all of our, our listeners remember about the Best of West Hartford, what does make this different from uh, any other Best of event uh, that's out there is the fact that it really is a people's choice. Um, you know, the people nominate, uh, the people, you know, uh, then select for the uh, vote for the finalists and then vote for the best of um, so it has absolutely nothing to do um, you know with any member of the committee or West Harbor magazine or we had to or, advertising or advertising or, nothing, or anything nothing uh, totally truly we had no choice. idea until that night right. who the winners were and to me that's the best part you know Filomino and company thank you Filomino <laughs> so the, um, they basically get the results from a third party uh, who we hire uh, to tabulate everything and send it you know to them and then they put together the certificates uh, in a briefcase and they show up that night and that's when we know yeah that's so fun. really is great well when we're planning for next year we are <laughs> all, we are already planning for next year so and I, I've heard uh, from at least a half a dozen people which is nice um, how much even more improved it was from year number one so I think if we just keep sort of raising the bar every year uh, as Ronnie said it will it will get yeah. bigger and better in time all right, so now Absolutely. we should go to a show. Well, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I just want to jump in, uh, since we're talking town-wide, um, because the timing is um, perfect, that uh, the planning committee or the board of directors for the Mayor's Charity Ball um, is convening for the very first time mm. this month, and we are definitely in need of new volunteers. So um, for people who do not know, the Mayor's Charity Ball uh, benefits the town that cares and Playhouse on Park, two nonprofits in town, and it is um, organized by an all-volunteer board of directors and then multiple subcommittees. So um, anyone who might be interested in, in investing some volunteer hours in getting involved should go to the Mayor's Charity Ball website and let us know. Um, and we plan all year long for the event, which is the second Saturday in May. Um, so I thought it appropriate to bring that up Perfect. now Absolutely. because we need Absolutely. lots and lots of help um, for two worthy causes. And there, there may be a little twist this year. We have a new mayor and um, she's got some great ideas and we're looking at broadening the reach of uh, where those dollars go. So um, watch for details on that and I could probably share more next time Excellent. that I'm here. Um, you know, we are uh, going into fall on Park Road, and it's the first time that we've had the planters. Some of the businesses have taken the planters from the Knox Foundation, which has been exciting, and you'll see those transitioning into Mums, which is great. Um, at the Playhouse, Little Shop of Horrors has been doing, on the flower theme, um, <laughs> has been doing phenomenally it's a well. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> and is open until October 16th, so just, there's still time. Just don't time. cut your finger and, and let your blood drip on that is flowers, true. right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So um, the show is doing great, and hopefully people have still have plenty of time to come down and, and catch that. And there will be two fundraisers coming up at the Playhouse, the annual beer garden, fourth year. Um, Maximum Beverage is the sponsor of that event, over 50 microbrews, uh, food from various restaurants all over town, and lots of prizes and giveaways. And last year the theater raised um, over $7,500 in one evening, and the goal this year is to break $10,000. Wow. Um, wow. 
It's mm. uh, you know there's music. It's it's really really a fun. And is event. that right at the Playhouse? Right at the Playhouse. Right yeah, you can go right to the website to mm. to buy tickets. And in December there's a show called Pinkalicious, which is the first show in our Young Audience series this year. Which if anyone has young girls, that book has been read over and over and over and over again. And um, the weekend of Thanksgiving, Pinkalicious is going to be having some tea parties at the theater. So, um, you know, you can, you can, it's a fundraiser as well for the theater, but you can buy a ticket and Pinkalicious will be at the tea party. And we're working um, with an organization called the Tea Round who does at home tea parties and they're sort of donating their services to come in. And I'm sure Pinkalicious is going to read a story that's and maybe a sing a song. Yeah, that's a mouthful. And Pinkalicious. <laughs> Pinkalicious. Yeah, no, so yes. my, my kids are too old for this. Is Pinkalicious? A, a person or an a, animal? It or? is a book. Uh, there's a story, and okay. she is the character in the story, and she likes everything pink. So, um, you know, that's 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 pretty fun. Amazing. If, if I could, I just have a couple of things I'd like to talk about that the Chamber is doing. Sure. The Chamber is putting together on October 18th a candidates forum. So we were hoping to have um, all the people who are running for local office um, in West Hartford. And what are there this year? About seven or so? Yeah, so we have um, Brian Becker's seat is up, so we have uh, Derek Slap and Chris Barnes running for that seat, Beth mm -hmm. Bai and Mark Merritt. Mark Merritt, run, that's thank the you. fifth um, set, state Senate district. Okay. And then there's um, Andy Fleischman and mm -hmm. Rob Levine. Rob Levine, got right. that right this time. Yeah. <laughs> um, are running for that seat, and then Joe Varengia is running unopposed. Unopposed, right? And then there are, are also opportunities to vote for. Um, well, the, there's Blumenthal and. Oh right, right so for for Senate, but the locally Senate. the registrar of voters positions are on the ballot. There's not a competition. There are two registrars who will both be voted in and also probate judge, which really right. the election for that was the primary because there's not a Republican candidate. Democrat Owen Egan is the only Correct. candidate and, and on the ballot. And we were going to invite Owen People Egan. People will vote for him. O Owen Egan to this too, yeah. just so. Um, it's, this is being sponsored by the Chamber's Economic Development Committee, so okay. we're hoping to keep the questions in that realm as opposed to going out into public policy and everything else. So go to our website for information Great. on that. Mm -hmm. um, so. It'll give you a good opportunity to see what's happening. Wonderful. So, um, And I know we're running out of time. So. <laughs> as always, <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Uh, go ahead. Do you want to say well, it, it just, if you go to the Chamber's website, we have a Great. full listing of ribbon cuttings. We have a bunch of new businesses opening in town. We've got... Um, we have a ribbon cutting for the Landmark, which is the apartment building on South Main Street. We have a ribbon cutting for um, Orange Theory, which is a new workout facility in Bishop's Corner. And um, we have our business after hours at 485 New Park. Excellent. Beautiful. And for the WeHa enthusiasts uh, who, are, who are listening, if you haven't uh, heard yet, uh, we now have a uh, custom uh, uh, a private label with Vineyard Vines uh, for, uh, for WeHa on Wow. Hats and belts and ties and shep shirts. Shep shirts and, and polo, and polo. shirts. I think that, I think that was everything. Yep. Uh, but it's all on wehad.com, uh, so you can check it out. Obviously, great um, gift ideas uh, for the upcoming uh, holiday season, or just a special gift, uh, you know, for yourself. And as always, we, we think we have a lot of time, um, and it just goes by so quickly. Um, so I would encourage everyone to visit the websites for the Elmwood Business Association, mm -hmm. uh, the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association, West Hartford Center, uh, and Blue Back as well. Park um, Road. And, and Park Road. Park Road got a little bit of spotlight, home which is good. Home, home design, a little bit too. Um, but, uh, but we had a whole list of things that we were supposed to mention for them that we just didn't get to. But again, we'll do it next well, month. So No, just keep reading Business Buzz. There you go, <laughs> honey. All right, we that's try <laughs> very hard not not to Absolutely. miss any of those and there, there are a lot of there's restaurants opening up mm -hmm. stores there are a lot of things opening up in the next month or two um, it's going to be a jam-packed um, series of business buzz columns so so keep on reading them we'll, we'll keep them interesting That's great well as we great. say we have it all in west hartford so uh, uh, stay involved and uh, we'll see you next month